I swear, every video starts with Josh making weird faces. Okay. Hello. Hello. We're interpretive dancing. <laughs> okay. So, here's what's going on. Today's July 3rd. So, if you hear fireworks outside, the neighbors are shooting them off. They're not gunshots. Are there games? I'm doing the No. <laughs> They're fireworks, but they are freaking me out because there's a lot of them, and I don't like fireworks. I do. Um. Anyways, I think my dogs handle fireworks better than I do. So, here's what's going on. Today is July 3rd, and we have kind of fell off the wagon a little bit. Now, we didn't fall off the wagon and set on fire. we fell off the wagon on the Oregon Trail. Specifically. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, so we've kind of fallen off the wagon a little bit. And so we have decided that tomorrow is supposed to be day one of week three. We have decided that instead of it being day one of week three, we are going to start over. We're going to hit restart, and tomorrow is going to be day one, week one. Because we feel, I feel, that it's a disservice, number one, to ourselves. And number two, to those people who are watching us and maybe wanting to do this program with us or have in the future, future people who are watching this journey to say like, these are our 21 day fix results when we really only did like 15 day fix. So I think it would be better for us to, remind me later, um, I think it would be better for us to just restart it and start over. So before we do that, I wanted to, we wanted to sit down and we actually haven't planned out this conversation. So this is going to be like a real life conversation between Mr. and Mrs. Morales of the ways that we kind of, I don't want to use the word failed. We did talk about this already. I don't want to say that we failed because I don't, I don't consider us a failure. I just, ways that we maybe can improve this time to make it better and what we need to do to make it better. So, I'm going to write them down, because this is a real life conversation. We have not talked about this. We started talking about it a little bit in the car, and then I was like, no, we're not gonna talk about it because I want our video to be like raw in real life. Raw. So who wants to go first? What are we talking about? You're stupid. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. So I think the first way in which we can improve is we prepped, like we meal prepped, but I don't think we prepped enough. And here's what I mean by that. Um, we made like oatmeal things, you know, little containers of oatmeal, and we made little baggies of vegetables, and we did all those things. But in one hand, I think I put too much on myself because I was the one doing all the meal prepping. And so on my days off, it would be like, okay, make your meal plan, go to the grocery store, come home, put it away, make vegetable packets, make fruit packets, make oatmeal packets. And then we were trying to cook turkey bacon as our meat pack, our meat snack. And then, you know, do all these things plus clean, plus watch a baby, plus like spend time together, plus, you know what I mean? It just was too much for me. So for this time, one of the things that we talked about doing differently is making things a little bit easier. So instead of getting like, the first week we did like cucumbers and stuff where I had to cut them all up. This week, I think we're gonna start going towards um, like baby carrots, or things like that that don't need to be cut that you just put them in a bag. Mm -hmm. And then like turkey bacon, I've heard everyone has always says when you talk about like what's a good meat snack, everybody says turkey bacon. But the problem with turkey bacon is you have to cook turkey bacon. And so I think we're gonna do, um, we tried it this weekend, so far I like it, but um, doing like ham and salami, because you can have six pieces of lunch meat, so doing like three pieces of ham, three pieces of salami, and then I don't have to cook anything. I literally just put it in a container and we're done. So just making our meal prep a little bit easier to where I don't have to spend all day meal prepping, because then something always gets left out. And then throughout the week you're trying to like scramble which is another thing that I want to say is that I think we need to pack our lunches the night before because and then just put them in the fridge because I think in the morning some days like tomorrow he's gonna get up at four o'clock in the morning 
And I'm not going to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Wow. And so he's trying, at 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, if we don't pack our lunches tonight, he'll try to, like, get everything that he needs and maybe he'll forget something or, you know, grab too much of something and then it messes up your whole day. Yeah. So I think just planning smarter and actually, like, 100% planning where it's not just, like, we've got some of the me- the meals prepped and not all of them. So that's my first thing. What about you? Uh, not skipping out a workout. Uh, sometimes I know you don't feel good, or hey, sometimes me. No, I I know it's so, not you in general. I know sometimes it might not be that you feel good or anything, but you have to overcome it to think of the long goal term that you're trying to reach for and be successful at it because next time when you do try to weigh in it's not going to be the results that you want then you're going to feel like you're going to fail and you feel like you just want to give up and it's just because you know you skipped workout day and you're like beating yourself over it so why do you keep saying you you skipped workout day I'm well. talking to them oh I thought you were saying like Christina no, I'm talking to them. And I agree with that. Because there was one day that we were just tired and we were like, well, we'll just skip. My sister skipped her workout that day, I'll be honest. And I was like, well, if Amanda's skipping her workout, we might as well too. And that night we went to Chipotle and then we did it work out. And then that was like the first night of the downhill spiral. And we haven't worked out since. We've been eating out a lot since. Because it was just like once you do it once it's real easy to then the next day say oh yeah well we didn't work out yesterday so you might as well just skip today too you know yeah so i would agree with that so no skipping workouts Mm -hmm. what Uh weird um i think drinking water the first week we really focused on drinking water and then now this la- this last week and the the week before that we really didn't focus that much on drinking water mm-hmm. and so i think that's a really important step and that could be also why we saw such great results because we lost the majority of our weight in week one and then remember week two we lost a little bit and now here starting week three we yeah. haven't lost anything so i think that that would that has a lot to do with it that we weren't drinking our water. So that's my next one. Drinking water. What else do you think? Hmm. Is it food, workout, water? I think we also need to take accurate measurements. Like getting up first thing in the morning and taking them. Like I Rebecca found says. A measurement tape. Yeah. A red and white one. Accurate measurements. And then I think like in this last week we kind of stopped posting as much. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Um, Three days a week you're allowed to treat meal. And I was watching a video on this today. And um, I can't remember who said it. But she's another Beachbody coach. And she said like you can have three times a week you could have a zing you can have a treat meal but her recommendation was like if you can stick to the treat meal then you can have it but if you can't be satisfied with a teaspoon of chocolate chips or you can't be satisfied with four ounces of wine was her example then don't don't drink it don't eat it if you're not going to eat just that much and then stop Mm -hmm. and so there was a couple days where we made treat meals and it was like let's put a whole scoop of whipped cream or let's put like a handful of chocolate chips instead of a teaspoon because a teaspoon of chocolate chips is not much it's like four chocolate chips four yeah it's not much so her recommendation and i do agree with this is if you can't be satisfied with whatever the amount is that you're allowed to not have it at all nope and then she also recommended, um, I should probably like give her credit. She also recommended not having yellows and purples 
in the evening. What was her name? Um, and that might be something we can look into trying and doing. For us, because we work so late, I think that might be a little hard. She had said, like, don't have any of that after 7 o'clock. Kathy Heffernan. Yeah. Kathy Heffernan. She's got a video called 21 Day Fix Tips and Tricks for Success. I'll link it below. It's 29 minutes long, but I listened to it while I was at work, and it was really good. And she had a lot of really good tips in there, and that was... That was hers of if you can't be satisfied with the little bit that you're allowed, then don't have it at all. I think that's one area that we went wrong. Mm. Mm. Treats. Any other recommendations? No, I think that's pretty much what we've been doing, but not really following. Yeah. Because, like, the first week we were really, like, hardcore like really into it and then the second week we kind of like fell off a little bit and then we saw those results the second week which was our first video was about how we didn't have the best results and we were kind of disappointed or I was especially disappointed in that and then this last this third week totally fell off yeah so we are restarting tomorrow is day one we'll and be back in the recording Yep, back into our recording nightly. <laughs> back into our recording, back into meal prepping, back into eating healthy. Back to the 21 day fix. Yeah, I'm excited. I think it's a good... Back to the drawing board. Sometimes I think you just need... And that's why I was telling him I he was saying... I always say some people fall and it's okay to fall, but... It's what you do when you get back up. Right. Do you stop doing what you're doing? Or do you say, okay, I fell. It's okay. I mean, people fall. And it's okay to get back up. And when you do get back up, just realize, okay, well, I'm not going to do what I did before. Because that mm -hmm. obviously didn't work. So what I'm going to do now differently, that way I can prevent things from falling. Right. I would agree with that. And that's what we had talked about earlier because Josh was saying that, he, you know, he was like, why are we going to make a video kind of like announcing that we failed at this? And I said, because I think it's about more than that. I think that for most people, it's real life. And not everybody, because I look at like my coaches, Pablo and Rebecca, and they're super into working out. And, you know, it seems like from the outside, from an outside perspective, they never cheat. They like are always 100%, you know what I mean? And I'm sure that's not because nobody's perfect. But from the outside perspective, that's what it looks like. And so as a beach body coach, you kind of want to give off that persona. But for us, like, I think it's important to share this with you because this is real life too. And you're probably going through the same kind of struggles and, you know, having the same kind of like, oh crap, I ate too much at dinner or we had Chipotle yesterday. Now what? And maybe you don't need to restart your entire program like we're doing. We're just choosing to do that because we've let it get a little too far. We're like four days into eating crappy foods and not working out. We haven't worked out in like four days. And so that's why we're just like, okay, the the purpose of the 21 day fix, the reason it's 21 days is because it takes 21 days to, t to make a habit. And we've fallen out of the habit already. So we need to start over. And maybe you just had like one cheat meal or one bad day and you're thinking, okay, how do I restart? And that's what I would say is to do what we're doing, sit down and figure out where you went wrong and then make a plan going forward. How are you going to do that differently? All right. And know that everyone makes mistakes, like Josh said. Mm -hmm. And we're that's not going to beat ourselves up over it. Human. Mistakes are what make you human. That's not what makes you move. What's that from? Home, my favorite movie. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> when he's like, I cannot guarantee that I would not make hilarious mistakes. And then she goes, Mistakes are what makes you human. And he goes, That's not what makes you boof. Alrighty. I love that movie. If you haven't seen that movie, you should go watch it right now. Okay. 
So, we'll be back or tomorrow. Mission Wash. It's called a hustle, oh. sweetheart. Where's my pen? I've always wanted to steal it from you. Really? Yeah. Take it to work? Yeah. No, we'll go to Disney store and buy you one. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. And have people sign with it. And say, oh, Zootopia. My sister bought me this. Isn't it cute? And it's got like sticky notes. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. Okay. That was, that was off track. Yeah. <laughs> We're obsessed with children's movies. It's not weird or anything. Um, so tomorrow we'll be back with a workout video. We're starting over with full body cardio. Yep, cardio. And so we'll be doing our meal videos and our workout videos. And I'm excited. I think it's a good refresh. It's a good way to restart. Look what came in the mail today. Woo! Or like two days ago, actually. Yeah, two days ago. I'm ready for that. Anything else you would like to say, darling? No. Yeah. Time to eat. I'm hungry. I gotta get in the bed soon. All right, y'all. Four o'clock. We'll tomorrow. Up. Don't worry if you fall off the wagon. Just don't fall off the wagon and set it on fire. Just pick it up. Get some duct tape. Put it back together. We'll continue on that Oregon Trail. <laughs> I knew it was gonna go back to there. Did you ever play that game in school? Yeah. I, <laughs> I loved that game. So much. I've tried to find that game like in adult life. I'm sure it's not nearly as cool as it was when I was a kid. But that was the shiz when I was a kid. The what? <laughs> I was going to say the other word. But then I was like correcting myself. So I said the shiz. S-H-I-Z. Z. 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 Z.